can't be together in school, um, but I want you to make the most of this time with your families. I hope to see you very soon. Hi everybody, Mr. Frecking and Boomer here. Just wanted to check in, make sure you're all doing well and staying safe, and hope to see you again back in school as soon as it's safe to do so. Bye. Hey middle schoolers, I just wanted to say hi. Since I haven't had you to visit with, Marshmallow has enjoyed my company. Hope you're staying healthy and I hope to see you soon. Hello, I miss seeing you at school. I hope that you and your family are safe, healthy, and content. One thing I've been enjoying at home is playing games. Perhaps you and your family have had a chance to play a game together. All the best, I hope we can see each other soon. Take care. Hey, Ridgeview Raptors. Hey guys. I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you back in the halls again. Hopefully it will be soon. I hope everyone's being safe and healthy. Um, we're sure enjoying our time at home together, playing lots of games, um, making good food, and Gavin has become an expert making brownies. You bet. Um, you guys have a great weekend and I hope to see you soon. Miss you. Stay inside. Hi everybody. This is Mr. Davidson. Um, short video, just saying hi. Now, some of you eighth grade students um, probably remember me trying to video your electric car races and you're kind of laughing right now because you're thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. And I really don't. So I apologize for the quality of this video right now. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you're practicing your social distancing, um, washing your hands correctly and often, um, making sure that you're staying home if you're sick. But I also hope that you're taking care of yourself in other multiple ways. I hope you're eating right. I hope you're being mindful of that. I hope you're, you're mindful of getting proper amount of sleep. Um, all those things make a difference. I hope you're doing something to stay physically active, to keep your, your body sharp. Um, I hope that you're figuring out ways to keep your mind sharp. Uh, maybe it's reading, maybe it's doing some puzzles. It doesn't necessarily have to be school related, but uh, do things that keep your body and mind sharp. Um, also, you know, emotionally speaking, um, you know, this is kind of a difficult time, but but I hope that you are intentional on maybe keeping a positive mindset, a, a positive attitude. Um, we're all going to be facing obstacles and, and, and hurdles. We're going to be facing things that we can't control. But what we can control is our outlook, our attitude to be positive uh, day in and day out, no matter the scenarios, to be positive. And I think that's a that's a it's very powerful when when uh, meeting challenges. Um, I also challenge you to maybe uh, um, go above and beyond at home. Maybe it's doing extra chores. Maybe it's sitting down with your parents or guardians and asking what you can do in addition to what you already are doing that's going to help out. Maybe it's watching uh, younger siblings. Um, maybe it's helping a neighbor. Uh, just doing something extra every day. Doesn't have to be a huge endeavor, just something little. Does, I'm not saying that you should go and reshingle the house, um, but, but just find out what you can do, uh, just a, a small part at home that's gonna help out everybody in the end. Um, I am gonna show you what my wife has been doing um, in regards to that. Now there's probably a button that I could push that would reverse the view on this, but I'm not there yet. So I'm just gonna flip my camera around and show you uh, what my kitchen looks like. And uh, normally in a kitchen, you'd see pots and pans and food and things like that. But uh, um, our kitchen right now uh, looks a little bit different. So I'll show you what that looks like. So my wife, um, is going above and beyond in addition to her job every day um, she's putting together these masks um, I think she's done about 50 up 
to this point in time and I help her a little bit. Um, she's the one that does all the sewing. But what I do is uh, cut out um, the, the, the pattern. So we pin the, the pattern on the, on the material. It's double layered, so as you cut it out, you're doing two at a time. So I cut these out, and then she goes and sews them together. These aren't the official 95 masks, but there are some agencies that um, are looking for these. And here's what the final product looks like. And um, this pocket here is where they put in the filter. So that's just uh, something that uh, I've been helping in my spare time uh, to do that we hope helps somebody in some way. Um, and I challenge you to figure out a way to help others as well. Um, hope to see you soon. And uh, in the meantime, take care of yourself and have a good day. I just want to say hi to all my students out there. I hope you're doing well. I'm just teaching my two-year-old a little bit of math, but it's not quite the same without you. So take care and I hope to see you soon. Hey Rescue students, hope you're enjoying your time at home with your family. Hope you're practicing safe social distancing if you go out. Miss you and hope to see you soon when it's safe. Bye. Hi guys, I hope you're staying healthy and you're washing your hands and getting lots of rest. And remember, it's always time to read. Hey everyone, just wanted to stop by and say hello and hope everyone is doing great. I miss you all and hope you are all taking this time to get in some extra reading and learning and some time with your families as well. Um, hope to see you soon and take care. Bye-bye. Hey Raptors, it's Miss Dolan. I hope that you're staying safe and healthy. Hope to see you soon. Hey Raptors, this is Mr. Lyons. Just checking in, making sure you guys are all healthy and safe and we hope to see you soon. Take care. Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing some reading, taking care of yourself and practicing social distancing. I miss you and hope to you practice your TikTok. <laughs>